My first instrument was bass, but I wanted to do cello. And then my mom showed me a video of Esperanza Spalding playing at the White House. Um, and I could just see myself in her. I saw her with her afro singing and playing bass. And I was like, that is exactly what I want to do. My dad, is uh, he plays trumpet. And so that put me on an obvious path to playing music myself. And well, growing up in New Orleans, I'd say it's a lot easier to find gigs, to listen to music, live music, you know, people just playing on the street, people playing in clubs around town. Like I found jazz music through my grandparents who showed me a Sinatra video in a Rat Pack movie. And I fell in love with that. Like that was my thing. Like I studied all those Nelson Riddle arrangements. In seventh grade, when my middle school band director was leaving, we were all writing goodbye notes to him. I wrote, you have really inspired me to pursue music in high school and as a career. I said something like that, and then I kind of realized, huh, I guess I kind of do. Music can be incredibly healing. It's an art that you feel really before you before you can see it or process it. I believe that it can bring people together and it can break barriers. This bass player, he was just talking to the audience and he was like, I bet during that set you didn't care about the political views of the person sitting next to you. It's like that's not what you were thinking about. You know, you're just, you were both listening to music together. Music allows us to express ideas, emotions, feelings in a, in a different way beyond words, right? So I guess as musicians, it's our desire or our responsibility to convey that, whether that's part of our personal stories or the intent of you know, whoever's music we're playing. Well, I'd say one of the major challenges, sort of, is you know, finding a voice of my own. You know, even if I could play the phrases and the licks and had some jazz vocabulary, I, I, I think it's sort of difficult, and I still struggle with it, to sort of move past that and really say something on my own, as opposed to just like repeating what's already been said. I always hope for the music I play to be authentic to myself or a certain message. Being able to have like a quiet mind and just like give myself entirely to the music and just really focus everything, tune completely into what I'm doing. I want to translate some of that sort of soul to the people listening, to make them feel something, to make them move, you know, to really make the experience worthwhile. It doesn't matter what language you speak, what you like, what you don't like. It's just like the way that something sounds. Like it's kind of hard to argue with good music. I mean, whether it's what you would listen to on the radio on your way to work or not, this is special music that we're playing. You watch the greats on YouTube. You watch the greats in person. But to me, the most inspiring thing is watching your peers. Instead of seeing, you know, somebody who's been doing this for 40 years and is already a master, you see something that's a little more attainable. I'm most excited to play with um, all these other great musicians. I definitely think I can say I've never played with such a talented group before. I want us to build a new family as NYO Jazz, not just a temporary friendship. I want a lifelong friendship and familyhood with us. Music and especially jazz is all about creating community and when that community is tight, the music is tight and it's all about serving the music by having honest conversations with each other, not trying to have like a sugarcoat anything and like a protective block. Just really being vulnerable with each other uh, will help the music and will help us grow as friends and family. Traveling the country, um, that's gonna be amazing. That's something I've been dreaming about for a while, being able to go play music in different places just besides, you know, down the street. Um, and playing with a band that's this level is something I've never done before. I'm trying to come in with, I guess, sort of this combination of confidence in myself, being the best that I can be, and also maintaining a sense of humility and, you know, curiosity and willingness to learn. I'm excited to walk away with new friends, new stories, new memories, and all around a broader network of amazing people and musicians.